I've been playing Magic the Gathering on Arena quite a lot lately. But nothing beats the pleasure of playing with Magic the Gathering cards, the actual physical cards. And it gives me a lot of pleasure to see that I have finally received my Zendika Rising bundle. Hello, Namaskar, Welcome, Swagatam. So Zendika Rising is the latest expansion of Magic the Gathering and it was released on 17th of September on Magic the Gathering Arena so we had a lot of time to play with all the amazing cards that Zendika, the world of Zendika has to offer before actually seeing it on the on paper. As with any set there were a lot of amazing cards and there were some which were not that good at all. In any case let me see what I get inside this bundle. This is as usual a 10 booster pack bundle with uh, 20 regular land and 20 foil, foil land cards and one special edition foil card which in this case is Sharix, the Raging Isle. Usually the uh, showcase card which is given in an alternate uh, artwork in foil in these bundles is usually a rare card but this time I think it is for the first time that I have seen it is a rare and a legendary creature. Uh, this is the bundle box. I bet this representation of the magic uh, emblem is kind of rustic in its own way. It depicts the unsettling and forever changing landscape of uh, Zendika. Uh, we'll open that later. What else is here? The usual small box. And uh, this sleeve. This sleeve has the usual uh, inserts. Gear up, of, gear up for an adventure. These are all the artifacts that we'll be getting in this set. Uh, okay. Discover the secrets of Zendikar in new set boosters. As I told earlier, uh, set boosters were something that I was uh, a bit interested on. It was a different kind of booster which had uh, 12 cards instead of 15. The proportion of rares and foils would be greater and all the cards would be related or having some kind of similar theme. But that set booster is only available in a 30 booster bundle which is too expensive for me to experiment, experiment with. So Wizards of the Coast, if you're listening to this, if you bring back set boosters with uh, further sets uh, in future, please make them available in small bundles like of 10 boosters. Uh, let me see what artwork is here. The Roiling Landscape of Zendikar. Very nice, but not that uh, amazing. Now on to the main attraction. This bundle has green giant 20 sided counter with the Zendika rising emblem. Then we have uh, basic land cards, normal and foil. These are the two promo cards which uh, useless and the boosters we have Jace, we have Nissa, we have Nahiri all the planeswalkers first of all let us look at the land cards this time around they have experimented a lot with uh, land cards there should be some full art land cards but no uh, not in this set we have four each of uh, five colors. Hopefully, this one would be impressive. We have Charix, the Raging Eye, a wonderful artistic legendary creature, Leviathan Crab. Spells your opponents cast that target Charix cost two more mana to cast. And if I give three mana, Charix get plus x minus x until the end of turn where x is the number of islands you control. This legendary creature has a power of 0 which will get uh, added later on with this ability and a toughness of 17. Okay, the foil land cards. Uh, to tell you the truth, I am not very much fond of these normal land cards. The ones we got in uh, M21 booster bundle those were good, the, the amazing artwork was there. Let's open up the booster. Common Core Celebrant, 
inordinate inordinate rage reclaim the wastes it has kicker kicker is a good mechanic uh, reinstated in this set i bond vampire the the card quality is not that good the card thickness uh, has been decreased for some reason i think strength of solidarity and here we have Sky skyclave gop it has uh, trample and landfall landfall is the best mechanic i i would say after uh, mutate mutate was uh, introduced in ecoria and landfall this landfall ability is a very strong ability and it can be triggered almost every turn i have been playing with landfall ability a lot uh, on arena please check out my deck building and the gameplay videos from magic the gathering arena one of them is linked right here skyclave geopede attended healer and yes this is the uh, main attraction so to speak although i don't like it but let's see modal dual faced cards uh, where on the front you have this instant sigiri's shelter and on the back there is this land sigiri's glacier enters the battlefield tap it gives a white mana so uh, if you have it in your hand you can play it either as an instant or as a land I'll tell you why I don't like this uh, modal dual faced card system because see if I have this uh, in my hand you can know that what what card I am holding and uh, another thing if I'm playing a land where I could have played uh, an common instant it seems like a waste anyway we have a rare card sorcery coveted prize This spell costs one less mana to cast for each creature in your party. Party is another unique mechanic to this Zendika Rising set. Party has uh, four uh, creatures, creature types: cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. If you have one of each on your battlefield, your party is complete. And the party uh, mechanic triggers uh, with unique abilities. This is yes, this is what I was talking about. The full art land cards this is not foil but this art is great and then this is and then this is something uh, wizards of the coast expect us to be using uh, in our gameplay instead of these modal uh, dual faced cards see uh, instead of playing this in my hand i have to keep this uh, i have to write it uh, sigiri's shelter mm, that is the that, that is the front and uh, land first of all i have never tried it second it just seems weird anyway keeping this aside second booster we have expedition healer core cleric and we have marauding blight priest uh, there was one in the previous booster also and okay this is a an alternate art dreadworm creature worm horror it has a landfall ability whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control dreadworm gains indestructible until end of turn great card journey to oblivion uh uncommon uncommon and another modal dual faced cards uh this is a land and an instant again okay scoot swarm this is a rare and this is something i didn't want to get in my boosters being a rare card this is this is great and i i, I have i have played a lot with scoot swarm but playing with scoot swarm on paper it would be painful this scoot swarm ability eventually leads to hundreds of triggers in was in one single turn arena can handle it but uh, while we have to write on paper or print out uh, token cards that will be too uh, tedious anyway we have a uncommon grotag night runner a red goblin rogue foil card okay this is uncommon and another uh, swamp a full full art swamp okay and a token drake 
we have C Floor Stalker Resol Ardent Electromancer Deliberate Vocal Boom Hacker Constrictor. This is a very good card. It enters the battlefield with two 1 1 counters, and each control with uh, each creature you control with uh, 1 1 counter on it has a menace. Has menace. Okay, then we have Makindi Ox. Vastwood Surge. This is a sorcery with kicker. Uh, if you kicked it, uh, put two 1-1 one, one counters on each control, each uh, creature you control. It is an uncommon relic column. Okay. Uh, Tangled Florahedron. It is a it is an elemental creature, 1-1 oh, one, one creature, and it is a dual model uh, model dual faced card with a forest. Okay. And a rare Skyclave Shade. It can't block. But it has a landfall ability whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. If Skyclave Shade is in your graveyard and it's your turn, you may cast it from the graveyard this turn. Okay, this is good. Uh, a mountain. Let's hope uh, I get at least one of each uh, color, or all the five colors of this full art land cards. Uh, another, you can use this card to represent a double faced card. I don't want to use that. Next booster. We have practiced tactics, Fisher Wizard, uh, Juraga Visionary. See spare supplies. This uh, this is the this is the kind of artifacts that uh, this Zendikar set is uh, talking about. Scale the heights, Shepherd of Heroes, and uncommon cleric of life's bond it is a creature vampire cleric when another cleric enters the battlefield under your control you gain one life okay uh, sign of the swarm it has flying and when you gain life put a one one counter on sign of swarm it is another dual faced card okay rare is thieving sky driver it has a kicker if it is kicked gain control of target artifact with converted mana cost x or less okay Rare card, yes. So so far we have an uh, island, swamp, mountain, and forest. Uh, to tell you the truth, I like the forest the best. And this is a uh, MTG Arena promo card, useless. Moving on, sneaking guide, Zulaport duelist. Rana Silencer, Might of Murasa, another instant with kicker and it is a, if it was kicked it will give one of your creatures 5-5 five, five, plus 5-5 five, plus five, until end of turn. Uh, Skyclave, Sentinel, Expedition Champion, uh, Ghoul Draws Mucklord. Okay, and we have the Uncommons, Human Rogue Creature, Thwart the Grave, so we have one dual faced uh, cards in each booster and we have Skyclave Relic uh, which, is, which is a rare, this is good and we have planes and a plant, one zero one one plant token. Practiced Tactics, Pyroclastic Helion, mm. another uh, no, and the full art. This art is amazing. This, see the brightness. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. This is Kazandu Nectarpot. Another uh, few commons, and then we have uncommon thundering, thundering rebuke, Canyon Zeroba, uh, Sigiri's Shelter. Another dual faced. We got it. Nighthawk Scavenger. Okay, and a mountain. Full art mountain card. Land card. Good. Next booster. Resolute Strike, Deliberate, Subtle Strike. Resolute Strike and Subtle Strike. Okay. And Territorial Side Cat. It has a it has trample and has a landfall ability. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on territorial side cat. So with three mana, uh, two generic and one green mana, you get a two-one creature, and with each landfall, this creature will uh, increase in its power and toughness. 
and the art is obviously missing. Utility knife and artifact. Okay. Then we have Murasa's root Murasa root gear, root razor. And uncommon acquisitions experts Cinder Classroom. A rare dual faced card. I didn't know these dual faced were uh, available in rare also. This is an instant which which costs one less to cast if an opponent controls no basic lands. Uh, how is that possible? Destroy target creature. Okay. Uh, basic land forest full art. In, so all the lands in uh, Zendika are rising uh, boosters this time are full art, which is great. Expedition Healer, Tormenting Voice, Might of Murasa, Nisa's Zendikon. This is an enchantment which uh, will turn my my land into a 4-4 elemental creature with haste and reach. Iridescent Horn Beetle. Uh, it will create a 1-1 green insect creature. Okay. Lull Mage. Lull Mage's Domination, Malakir's Rebirth, a Mythic. This is the first time I am uh, unboxing a Mythic card. This is Tazri, Beacon of Unity. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your party and uh, with a, 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 a slew of mana. Uh, I can look at the top six cards of my library and I may reveal up to two cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard and or all ally cards from among them and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. bottom. This is a great pull. Uh, a full art land card and another insect token. Oh no, this is the first insect token. Common uh, Goblin Warrior, Miss uh, Lynx, Hagra Constrictor, Dreadworm, another copy of the same card with the same art, and Skyclave Squid. These uh, full art creatures are amazing. This is a defender with a landfall ability whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. Skyclave Squid can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Very good. Uh, Brushfire element, Elemental and Uncommon. Relic Amulet, another artifact. Tangle Florahedron, I got it at another one. Uh, Inscription of Insight. It is a sorcery, it is a rare sorcery with a kicker. Okay. Uh, what does it do? Choose one. If this spell was kicked, Choose any number. Return up to two target creatures to their owner's hands. Scry two and then draw two cards. And target player uh, creates a XX blue illusion creature token. Where X is the number of cards in their hand. This is good. And uh, we have an expedition healer. Foil card. A common foil card. Uh, okay. Full art basic land island. And this. Whatever this is. Last booster of this bundle, we have Farsight Adept, Fisher Wizard, Juraga Visionary, Rogue, Rogue, Instant, Scale the Heights, Skyclave Pickaxe. This is an artifact equipment with a landfall ability. Uh, whichever creature this equipment will be uh, attached with will get plus two plus two until end of turn with every landfall. So, uh, Wind Rider Wizard, we have Akum Warrior and another legendary creature, it is a rare Linvala Shield of the Seagate. Uh, this is an angel wizard with flying at the beginning of your combat on your turn if you have a full party choose target non-land permanent and opponent controls until your next turn it can't be it can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated very good this is a rare another swamp full art so i got uh, full art this is a duplicate we, I got uh, duplicate swamps. I got different forests. Full art, different, different artwork. Uh, same artwork for plains and different artwork for mountains.
somehow i didn't get many uh, token cards in this booster in these boosters but i am very happy that i didn't get any uh, rare land cards like i did in the ecorian m21 booster set so that is that is all in the unboxing of this uh, uh, zendika rising bundle i'll be back with another magic the gathering video very shortly I i'll probably make a party deck with these cards and share with you and i'll also continue sharing my magic the gathering arena a uh, gameplay videos with you do follow me for more magic the gathering content and if you are a magic the gathering beginner don't forget to watch my other videos the my, my first videos where i described all the gameplay uh, essentials the anatomy of a card and all that a uh, subscribe to my channel the versatile doctor will be much appreciated and if you are in india and you want to see magic the gathering expand in india please do join my facebook page magic the gathering the indian enthusiasts till my next video keep playing If you like this video please do leave a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends. If you like this video please do leave a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends. You have been with Dr. Abhinav Atul and it is my pride and privilege to be able to connect with you through this video. Namaskar.